oasis of this mountain, though, and, and, and there's rainforest trees that are as high as the ceiling. If you go and jet up, and it's, it's this, this trail that's probably just about 10 feet wide. It's not super wide. So you're just walking along, single file, this rainforest trail. And then going, the trees go and clear up, and you're in 85, 90 degree weather, and you look up at the top, and you're seeing this snow and ice in the summit. So it's like I'm sitting in 85 degree weather, and looking up at the snow and ice, and it looks like a different planet. Some of the kids, will, this is the questions that I'll get the most are, um, you know, if I could be born different with arms and legs, would I do it? And I think at, at one point in my life when I was younger, absolutely, I would have. Every single one of us on this planet has a disability. You can look at me and see my disability, but I can't look at you and see yours for a lot of you. You know, but we all have it. We all have things that we've been through. A lot of you guys in here have been through things that are probably way harder than anything that I've ever had to face. There have been moments, even with the speaking, that I've been close to, like, you know, giving up and quitting myself. And uh, when I first started this, it was really hard at first. And um, it's just, I think the reason why I've, I've kept going is because every time, like, something will come along that, like, really lifts me up and makes me appreciate, like, why I get to do what I do. It might be something one of the kids says or, you know, just something that just really encourages me to, to keep it going. Well, I do have obstacles in my life, and I think he helped me realize that I could overcome them like he did. He definitely did inspire me to overcome a lot of things, because I have a lot of things going on right now, and he really did help me through. That before I make decisions that might affect me very, not bad, but that might do a much of an effect on me, that I should ask myself why, no matter what. And that taught me a lot, and I hope I can use his lessons as an example of what to do when it is necessary. And I think that that's, for every one of us, that's our deepest purpose, is just to like think about like why are we doing what we're doing? Like in our career, in our family, in our lives, like why were we put here on this planet? If there's one message to go and take away, I'd like the kids to go and think about that.